If you only listen to liberal media, you're most likely under the impression that there are no problems with Muslim immigration into Europe. However, I would argue that one of the most major problems in Europe is immigration, especially immigration from Africa and the Middle East. So let me start off by explaining the geographical context. Whereas an entire ocean divides America from the Middle East and North Africa, there are land bridges connecting Europe to the Islamic world. A notable land bridge connection is the Morocco-Spain border, which is, by the way, heavily fenced and heavily militarized because Spain wants to halt the imports of illegal guns and drugs from Morocco. Most legal immigration is from people traveling across the Mediterranean Sea. These migrants land on countries like Greece, Italy, and Malta. In any given year, ever since the migrant crisis began, so 2010 to 2016, around 100,000 migrants enter into Europe. But 2015 to 2016 had over a million migrants enter into Europe in a single year, and those numbers are growing. There are many reasons why migrants choose to make the voyage entering into Europe. The most common reasons are war and economic prosperity. Thus, there are both refugees and migrants among those who are entering into Europe. According to the European Union, four out of five migrants from the years 2014 to 2015 were not Syrian refugees. Though in total, so throughout 2010 through 2016, around 46% of them were from Syria, 20% of them were from Afghanistan, 10% of them from Iraq, and the rest, 34%, collectively speaking, are from Eritrea, Nigeria, Pakistan, even Kosovo. In fact, Kosovo makes up roughly 5%. So not everyone is a refugee, and clearly the vast majority of the people who are entering are Muslim. They come from Muslim countries or Muslim regions, after all. Interestingly enough, and this is the most relevant part, the majority of migrants are men. 60% of them are men, 25% of them are children, and 17% of them are women. Those are good figures to keep in mind when we talk about the core domestic problems Europe has with immigration. Muslim migrants tend to commit more crime than native European populations. Take France as an example. There are around 68,500 people right now in a French prison. Out of that 68,000, 45,000 is Muslim. That means 66% of France's prison population is Muslim. There are foreign-born migrants who enter into Europe and then commit crime. In addition, according to the French government, over 15,000 people, including 2,000 kids and teens, are on the Islamic radical watch list. The watch centers used to monitor the terrorist activities cost the French taxpayers over 40 million per year. Of course, Islam and Muslim immigration isn't just a problem in France. It's also a problem in the Netherlands. According to a 2009 report commissioned by the Dutch government, 63% of the 447 teenagers convicted of serious violent crime are from children born from parents who are outside the Netherlands. In total, native Dutch citizens committed 37% of violent crime. Meanwhile, Muslim criminals accounted for 73% of all crime, 14% Moroccan, 8% Turkish, and so on. Keep in mind that in countries like the Netherlands, the crime rate was significantly lower before immigration became a problem. Of course, Islam and Muslim immigration from Africa and the Middle East isn't just a problem in France and the Netherlands. It's also a problem in Norway, Spain, and just about all European countries that, that have Muslim populations entering into Europe, whether legally or illegally. So what can we get from this? Well, unlike a lot of previous waves of immigration, which was significantly smaller and less polarized politically speaking, despite what conservatives you know, still complaining, it was nothing compared to the size and scale of this level of immigration we have today and the impact that this immigration has on the crime rate, let alone the massive injustices that took place in Rotherham, UK, in regards to the sex scandal, for example, or the terrorist attack in Paris. In this case, it doesn't seem like the Muslim population is blending into the fabric of their respective societies. And because of that, we're most likely going to see violence erupt. We're going to see crazy Islamists. We're also going to see crazy right-wing neo-Nazi racists rise. Violence and needless hatred and bigotry from both them and the Muslims is not the answer. But someone needs to address this issue. If no one does, that will just feed into the mentality of these groups that we should all morally object to. That begs the question of what should the answer be? Well, I'm not sure what the answer should be. I don't think anyone knows for sure what the answers are because, you know, only time can tell. Better border enforcement and immigration policy is a start, though. But I think it's safe to say that with people like Marie Le Pen or Nigel Farage, they have better answers to these rather serious geopolitical questions than the liberals do. I'm Jay Faiza for the Rebel.media. If you want to use logic and rationality to address these serious geopolitical issues, like and subscribe to Rebel.media.